This is News Uncuffed. Memphis Police Chief Sarah Lynn Davis, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly, she made a statement on Good Morning America that she was confused about the whole initiation and purpose of the traffic stop that led to the death of Tyree Nichols. Now, you're going to listen to this, and after this, it's going to be important that you hear me for the solutions and what is going to be said in response to this statement by the police chief. Yeah, when I say confused, um, just in the level of uh, aggression and response to what, what had occurred in this traffic stop, and it's still very unclear, you know, as to uh, the, the real reason for the stop in the first place. With all due respect, let's just get right to it. Now, I'm the world's top cop, and I'm talking, and I'm going to question, this is a chief that represents all other chiefs across the country. Number one, the question is, why would you make statements about something you're confused about and don't have all the facts and investigations before you begin speaking against police officers? That has never been done. Why is it being done now? Because these officers are black. Number two, why would you say you're confused when in fact, as a chief, you should never be confused about your officers and the actions that they make under your leadership. This is a representation. Y'all need to pay attention to this. Number three, if you are confused and don't know what's going on with your police officers at your de police department, this now begins to ask another important question. This is not or is this the first time that this unit or these officers committed such violations on traffic stops of human rights of people before in Memphis police, de police department under your leadership. How many other traffic stops were committed in violation of people's rights and against their rights and it's not the first time now are you also confused at the fact at who did the tasering of Tyree Nichols that led up to the abuse and the death of Mr. Nichols by the one who pulled the taser trigger who was a white police officer now the other question why isn't this police officer being investigated and charged in addition addition to the black police officers who are charged and fired. Why isn't he? And why isn't he not being questioned? And if he is, why hasn't that been known and brought to the public as you have spoken against the other officers who did their wicked acts that led to the death of Mr. Nichols? So the solution to the problem that will not come from the Memphis Police Department or any other police department from any other chief it's with CPIIA, Citizens and Police Immediate Interactive Assistance. This is my purpose and my mission. And with CPIIA, Mr. Nichols would have been alive. With CPIIA, many other black males, black women, black children would have been alive if they would have had CPIIA. CPIIA is in the works right now to take immediate action and change the narrative and save lives in every city and every community across America now, not waiting on something like this to continue to happen. And it will happen again. And the only way to stop this is with CPIIA.